2014 was a packed year for racing games. In September came Forza Horizon 2, next came Drive Club in October, and by early December Ubisoft graced us with the crew. Here we will compare the online gameplay of Forza Horizon 2, Drive Club, and the crew, and find which one is the best overall online racer. These three games are all trying to bring a more connected online racing experience, but before we get into the meat of online gameplay, let's take a look at the actual racing mechanics. Forza has a sim racing pedigree, but Horizon has always been more laid back and fun. It strikes a perfect balance. Each car controls unique. A Ford GT compared to a Tesla Model S feels like night and day. If you drive into a corner at breakneck speeds, you have to slow down or you will spin out. The cars feel more attached to real world physics without being absolutely dense and unplayable. So in this comparison, Forza Horizon 2 is the benchmark for racing mechanics amongst these three games. Drive Club, on the other hand, tries to be a more arcadey racer while thinking it's a sim. Cars don't feel incredibly planted in the game. It feels as if the track is moving around you versus you moving on the track. Wheels will clip through the ground and you will be punished for sliding into railings. It's an odd balance that doesn't play as well. But I would take Drive Club any day over the crew. That's a game with no sense of driving whatsoever. Every car is absolutely tail happy in the crew. Even in the softest of turns, your car will drift. At least in Drive Club, cars feel different. In the crew, it doesn't matter if you're driving a front-wheel drive Volkswagen Golf or a Chevy Camaro. Both will act and behave the same. Oddly, 10 levels in, you will still be using the same car you started with, which is no fun. The point of a racing game is to take you out of the reality that car racing is really expensive. A game should let you play with tons of cars from the get-go. Forza does this, as well as Drive Club, so why can't the crew? Before we get into online, let's discuss graphics. Many have been hailing Drive Club as the prettiest racer of the year, and that's simply not true. After spending extensive time with all three games, the graphical giant is Forza, without question. Here's why. Forza's lighting engine feels so much more real. The sun is actually bouncing off the cars, and buildings are actually reflecting off the paint. Drive Club's lighting, for example, feels pasty. The game knows that light is supposed to hit the car, so it throws it on there. The lighting does not feel as dynamic, and it is noticeable. I will give that Drive Club does have nicer dirt effects, so there's that but pretty much everything else is prettier in Forza, which is rather remarkable considering it's an open-world racer. Another odd issue with Drive Club is that it does a poor job of letting the player play in the cockpit. It's impossible to see the actual speedometer, and there isn't a virtual one on the game's HUD. So in Drive Club, you're pretty much relegated to playing in third person. It's an odd oversight. Many have also been praising Drive Club's recently released weather engine, and quite honestly, it feels fake. It's as if they slapped a Windows 98 screensaver over the game. The snow effects became so blinding that it was impossible to see the road in front of me. The water droplets stuck to my TV screen were more of a hindrance than a cool effect. The crew doesn't even compare to Forza or Drive Club. The game has an odd pastel filter over it, which throws out any sense of realism whatsoever. Damage done to cars are not realistic either, and the game's screen is cluttered with tons of indications that are far more distracting than help. But how do these games compare when playing online? Forza's online is rather simple. You load up your map and find a road trip to join. Once you're in, you're engaged in a series of four challenges with other players. They can be anything from three laps around a track to a battle mode similar to Mario Kart. It's easy, it's fun, and it's not complicated. You can leave the race at any time, and the game will find someone else to fill your spot. There was only one play session I had where I could not connect online, and there were some odd connection glitches with cars jumping around. Drive Club has been plagued with online issues since its launch. Of course, that was back in October. How is the game faring now? A bit better, but not much. The number of players online has dropped quite a bit. I found myself in races with as few as two opponents. There were also issues with players not loading into the game properly, so you will see their cars sitting idle at the starting line. When races do work, they're fine. It's pretty easy to get into a race, although it takes a while to load, but once you're in, you're pretty much in. The crew, on the other hand, is a persistent open world racer. At any point, there are always other people racing and ready to join your crew and race with you. Servers are, however, rather empty. Given my time with the game, I was only able to, once, find someone else online to play with. It was fun, but any time after that, it was near impossible to find someone else to race with. The game just did not display that many online racers. You could send a few people invites, but it always felt like a shot in the dark. Getting a game going was such a matter of chance that it wasn't even worth trying after a while. So the crew fails on letting you play in crews, ultimately destroying any uniqueness it had whatsoever. So where does this leave us? We have three games, one of which is excellent, the other of which is alright when it works, and one that's mediocre at best. The best game is Forza Horizon 2, bar none. It exudes quality and polish. Every car feels unique, the game world is immersive, and the online works. It doesn't try to be overly complicated. It's there for players to go out and have fun. So if you're stuck trying to decide between which racing game to get, look no further than Forza Horizon 2.